Howdy, folks. Welcome to the Wild West Crypto Show Daily Update brought to you by Drive American Omega. You know, folks, one thing you notice about uh, what we do on this show and our updates and all that, I love the commercials, Brent, that go out and say, boy, you ought to try this out. It is really awesome. And then below it, it says, not actually a customer. <laughs> yeah, you know, a professional actor. <laughs> that's right. That's exactly right. Uh, the professional parrot. Folks, let me tell you something. Not only are we customers, but we know Patrick and his crew. They've got the best product out there. Auto warranty companies are horrible. The robocalls and all that stuff. And that is not these guys. They actually spend a lot of money trying to get that shut down. Just check them out, folks. Make an informed decision if you decide to take the risk of your car blowing up and you pay out of your pocket. Check them out. Brent, speaking of paying out of well, your pocket. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of paying out of the pocket right now. So let's go to the uh, the charts there, Bobby. And, and as you can see, Bitcoin down 3475 puts it at 40425 That's a big, nasty red candle. Uh, but notice what I was telling you. We've come down. We broke through the middle of Bollinger average, pushed the Bollinger band up, and boom, look at that big candle there. But look down here at the volume, and you can see that it's not huge. OK, and so uh, what that that may be as much buyers backing away as it is sellers being aggressive. All right. Look over here and look at this big, dark, uh, dark black, I'm black, excuse me, dark uh, red candle and look at the score corresponding volume. Volume was probably about threefold what the volume was today. All right. So you're going to have these kinds of gyrations and all that. But if you kind of sit back and look at that, that's a chart looking, in my opinion, to try and build a little bit of a base down through this $40,000 uh, range before it starts to move itself higher. So we're down 7.6866 right now. Uh, we're at $1.8 uh, trillion on the overall market cap, and that's down 6.98. Look at this, though. The Dow, you talk about a big, nasty candle. There's one right there for you. And, and again, Dow... Got pretty good volume with that candle. And that volume, as you can see, is similar to all the other volume through the area, unlike what's happened with Bitcoin. Uh, you have the same thing with the S&P. It's down 94, which is over 2%. The NDX is almost down 3%. That's 431. Again, another big red candle there. And then Russell 2000, uh, which made me a little bit of money trading futures today, uh, it was down 45. So now look at that. Correspondingly, you got that big green candle with gold. Well, guess what? We have broken the previous high that we had back here in November. And so are we headed to 2000 gold? Well, guess what? 2000 gold's only $100 away. And so would not surprise me to see us getting there and possibly even beyond it. Uh, so gold's up 1.5%. Silver's up 1%. Crude is up a dollar, which is 1.2%. And but it's at 91 bucks. And, you know, you look at that chart and that, that hurts because I drive big pick them up trucks and uh, diesel excursions and, and to fill them up, it's going not bigger, more, 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 more. It's just kind of taking more the whole way up. So what can you say? Well, we go run down through the world of crypto. Ethereum is down 242 links down a buck 45 down six cents for Cardano. Polka dots down a buck 62 down 11, 12, for Litecoin, XRP is down six cents. XLM's down a penny and a half. Theta is down forty-seven cents. Uh, the Hexagons are down a penny, uh, which is five percent. And Carnomaly is down seventeen percent, uh, being down to point zero zero seven two. Dogecoin is down six point four six. Shibs down eight point two five. So Doge wins the dog wars. There you go. Who let the Doge out? Um, hey, so Brent, uh, you know, I, I tell you what I want to do is I want to take this to talk about local events. Okay. Okay. And, and you know, folks, I, I have to tell you, most of our legislators, there was a time when people that would run for public office did it because love a country and want to make a difference. And people, in my opinion, not all of them, but too many of them, they get in and, and they ingratiate themselves and they enrich themselves <laughs> and they make themselves kings and queens. Sure. You know, and so we don't have a monarchy. What we have is much worse than that, you know, in my opinion. So to get out there and make a difference, the people that are in power never want to cede power. Oh, no. Right? No, no. And so if you come in there and you're a little bit of a disruptor. Oh, yeah. They hate you. Oh, yeah. They're going to give you hell. They're going to oh, find yeah. every reason in the world. They're going to besmirch and besmack. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, yeah. you know. And, well, and, you know, the thing you got to wonder is how do we get so many multi, multi, multi millionaires 
at one hundred eighty five thousand dollars a year. Yeah, and you know, and one hundred eighty five thousand dollars a year. If you're flipping burgers at McDonald's, you think, oh my gosh, sure you can get rich. No, you know, because they're traveling back and forth to Washington, and they got to wear the suits, and they, you know, there's a lot of trappings that's got a lot of expense associated with it. And the only way that they can do that is is front running on this mm -hmm. that they found out about their committee. So I mean, they get to do what the rest of us would get thrown in prison for in regards to uh, uh, illegal trading. For them, that's common fare. Yeah, absolutely. So should you be an independent thinker and you decide you want to go out there and really make a difference, a whole lot for the little guy. Folks, I have to tell you, all the people that lie about taking care of the little people, as Lorraine Lamone says, how long oh, yeah. do we have to be little? Yeah. Folks, let me tell you something. They're taking care of themselves. And they just, <laughs> the only thing they want from you is the little people to vote for them. Oh, yeah. Okay. And so, um, Brent, what do you think about Kerrville, Texas? Well, we got, you know what, the problem, the problem, the problem is so systemic. We have it all the way from here in Kerrville, all the way to Washington. Yeah. And I know what you're goading me into is, is, <laughs> is he's wanting me to announce that I'm running for mayor, which I actually am. And, uh, and, and somewhat reluctantly in that I've had people for years try to get me to get on city council and all other kinds of things. The problem is this 80% of all of this money has only been printed for the last two years. Mm -hmm. And we are headed to an inflationary spiral. And frankly, I think I'm one of the few people in town that actually managed money through the last inflationary spiral and actually can uh, understand what you have to do to survive a period of inflation. And hey, so, but Brent, I, I think that this little town of 26,000 people, I think we need a hundred million dollar palace for our. <laughs> well, you know, the interesting thing is, is, is it's gone up considerably and nobody knows where they're going to put it yeah. and nobody knows what they're really building. And of course there's guys like me that got calculators going, well, that's $800 a square foot. What yeah. in the world are they building? Well, then you find out, Oh wait, it's, there's also going to be a two story parking garage so that they have secured parking for the police yeah. um, and, and so on and so forth. And so, you know, the problem is, is uh, there's not a whole lot of transparency um, you know, we think that, you know, Trudeau's crazy. Well, I got news for you. Uh, there are miniature Trudeau's going all the way down through the system um, that think that they're smarter than you and that they should be able to be the only person knowing what's going on. And the reality is, is you either trust your fellow man or you don't. And I'm one of those that, that thinks the more people you can get involved, the more opinions you can get, the open market of ideas mm -hmm. uh, is where everything gets solved. So literally, folks, across this entire country, you ought to start getting involved. I have to tell you, I can't do the, I, I couldn't stomach getting into public office because uh, it's it's a fight that I won't get into. But let me tell you something. Kudos to you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out if I can stomach it or not. <laughs> I'll support you every bit of the way. Uh, thank you. Hey, hey, folks, thanks for tuning in to the Wild West Crypto Show, and we will see you again tomorrow on our daily update.